now we will discuss uh, the application of uh, time series in various fields so there are various applications the first application is in economic forecasting so econo forecasting means estimation so estimation of economic activities in a country so that can be done through time series analysis the process of uh, attempting to predict the future condition of the economy using a combination of widely followed indicators so that is nothing but a economic forecasting in economic forecasting we are forecasting means we are estimating the economic activities of a country so that is one uh, application the another application is uh, in sales forecasting so sales forecasting it is nothing but the forecasting of sales and uh, it is the process of uh, estimating uh, future uh, revenue by predicting the amount of product or services by a sales unit so sales unit in the sense uh, these are an individual or uh, these are the sales firms or a company sales division so into a uh, so that means uh, how much uh, they will sell in the next uh, week month or quarter or year so this forecasting can be done through sales forecasting so the next application of uh, time series analysis is in budgetary analysis so budgetary analysis means what so it involves examining and uh, explaining the components of uh, budget expenditure and revenue so these are the two parts of uh, any uh, uh, budget analysis the one part is related with uh, budget uh, that means uh, this is related with, uh, related with uh, expenditure and the another part which is related with the revenue so revenue is one part expenditure is one part and uh, in uh, budgetary analysis we are uh, dealing with both these parts both these parts of revenue as well as expenditure so the next is stock market analysis so stock market analysis so that means what is uh, the price movement of a stock so whether it is rising or falling so th that can be done through the use of a chart so that means uh, what uh, would be the prices of uh, the underlying uh, uh, script the underlying company so that can be uh, done by using the time series analysis so that is also one use of uh, 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 this uh, time series so there are various uh, applications of uh, time series analysis so i am just mentioning few uh, applications so that uh, you can know where uh, the time series analysis can be used so the next is yield pro projections so yield projections uh, is uh, projections are nothing but estimations so we can uh, project so yield may be uh, in uh, financial terms or yield may be in agricultural uh, terms so financial terms means there are some bond bond uh, yield debenture yield uh, or uh, uh, that means uh, how much uh, yield uh, they are, uh, we are uh, expecting from a bond or a debenture uh, that is related with a finance in agricultural yield a farmer can estimate uh, how much uh, yield uh, he is expecting from uh, a particular crop so the crop may be rice the crop may be soya bean so in the next uh, few uh, uh, months what uh, would be the yield of rice what would be the yield of soya bean so that can be projected uh, with the use of uh, this uh, time series analysis the another one is process and quality control so process and uh, quality control means what so these are two parts of statistical quality control so these are the to uh, so that means quality con uh, this control uh, either we can uh, uh, process uh, we can control this through process or through the product 
and the product should be a quality product so in process control it is a process wherein uh, the overall process of production or uh, inspection can be improved so that means the overall process of manufacturing can be controlled through a process control so we can see what is this process and quality control when we start with stati statistical quality control and uh, what about this uh, quality means what so quality is nothing but fitness for use so fitness for use uh, is the simple definition of a quality but uh, in uh, in time series analysis so that means uh, this quality represents uh, quality control uh, is a process through which uh, a business seeks uh, to ensure that the product uh, quality should be maintained or it should be improved so that is nothing but a quality control and uh, in time series analysis also by taking the historical data or uh, uh, by taking the data we can uh, find out uh, what about the quality and how we can control this so that is uh, this is one more application in statistical quality control so these are various uh, uh, applications in various uh, different fields the next is uh, inventory uh, in, uh, inventory uh, studies so that it is also known as inventory forecasting and uh, this is uh, the process of calculating the inventory which is uh, needed to fulfill future customer uh, customer uh, orders based on how much product you predict you will sell over a specific period of time so that uh, we can do through this uh, inventory studies so the next is a workload forecasting so what is meant by workload forecasting or workload projections in uh, workload forecasting so which will helps uh, uh, make sure that uh, everyone is being given enough work to study and uh, uh, to uh, to stay productive so that means uh, everyone is uh, uh, being given uh, enough work to stay productive uh, but not too much that uh, uh, that means uh, they uh, risk burnout or uh, poor performance so this is a workload projection so projection of a workload so that means we are giving enough work uh, to stay productive in in an industrial uh, production so there are the application of this in uh, utility studies there are the application uh, of uh, this time series analysis in uh, census analysis so census analysis is nothing but demographic analysis and uh, you have studied uh, the elements of uh, demography so that includes the things uh, that allow us uh, to measure the dimensions and uh, the dependencies uh, of the populations or the dynamics of the populations the dimensions and dynamics of the population can be studied through this uh, census analysis so these are the few applications of uh, uh, these uh, time series analysis there are few and many many more applications are there just for the sake of uh, referencing i am representing these applications in various uh, fields of law uh, these uh, uh, and the time series uh, analysis is a topic which is uh, very uh, vast and uh, there are various applications of the topic so we will stop here and uh, continue in the next uh, session till then goodbye